If you're new to Formula 3 and have no prior knowledge of the category, trying to figure out what exactly Formula 3 refers to might be a hard concept to grasp. This is especially the case in 2019, since there are so many championships that could be considered Formula 3 series, including some that don't even have Formula 3 in their name. So, rather than getting bogged down in all the little intricate details about each and every championship, let's try and run through what exactly is happening with Formula 3 in 2019 in the simplest way possible. To kick things off, we have the FIA Formula 3 Championship, which is what most people will be referring to when they say Formula 3. This championship is actually the successor to GP3, a category which debuted back in 2010 as a support series for GP2 and ran until the end of 2018. The rebranding introduces a new car, the Dallara F3 2019, which will retain the 3.4-litre Mechachrome V6 engine used in the outgoing GP3 16. The updated Aerospec also brings the series more in line with Formula 2 and the current generation of Formula 1 cars. Apart from that, not a lot will actually change for the new season, so if you follow GP3 in the past, then the new FIA Formula 3 Championship will be much the same, and will continue on as part of the European support package for the Formula 1 season. With GP3 now rebranded as Formula 3, it completes the puzzle that is the FIA's career ladder to Formula 1. Drivers would ideally start in Formula 4, move to Formula 3, then Formula 2, before finally stepping onto the big stage with Formula 1. But unfortunately, another FIA branded step on the ladder makes this pyramid a little larger than expected, and thus enters regional Formula 3, and where most of the confusion arises. The main purpose of regional Formula 3 is to bridge the significant performance gap between the National Formula 4 Championships and the new Formula 3 Championship. Now, regional Formula 3 is nothing new in 2019, as two championships have already made their debut back in 2018. One covers North America, and the other covers Asia. The F3 Asian Championship, certified by the FIA, runs the Tatus F3 T318 with a turbocharged 1.7-litre Alfa Romeo straight 4 engine tuned by Autotechnica Motori. On the other side of the globe, the F3 Americas Championship, certified by the FIA, runs the Ligier JSF3 with a turbocharged 2-litre Honda engine found in the Civic Type R. With both the Far East and Far West having their own regional championships, the FIA wanted one more that would deal with the concentration of Formula 4 championships in Europe. So, a new championship was formed for 2019, known as the Formula Regional European Championship, certified by the FIA. And rather than having a different car manufactured for the series, the Formula Regional Championship will use the same Tatus and Alfa Romeo combo as its Asian counterpart. With this third regional championship now underway, we finally have a completed official pyramid. And in a perfect world, this would be where the video ended. But life doesn't work out like that. So, what other Formula 3 championships are there? Well, to start with, we need to acknowledge the FIA F3 European Championship that ran from 2012 to 2018. That's right, there was already an FIA-sanctioned Formula 3 series in Europe. In fact, if you heard about Formula 3 in the past, chances are this is the series you know about. When GP3 became Formula 3, this series lost its FIA status, and after a revival attempt at the beginning of 2019, it ultimately folded in late March before it even got off the ground. So why is this important? Enter the Euro Formula Open Championship, a series in which, while using mostly the same machinery, never really competed with the previous FIA F3 European Championship. That said, the series did stand out due to its lower entry price and standardised engine use. This will all change from 2019, as the series will now allow any engine manufacturer to take part, meaning teams who competed in the old FIA F3 European Championship can participate. With the championship still using the old Dallara F312, it means that those with smaller budgets will still be able to compete at a high level without having to purchase a brand new car. Next, we have a competitor to the former FIA F3 European Championship, the Formula Renault EuroCup. This series used to be what was called a Formula Renault 2-litre championship, a rival category to Formula 3. But with most of these championships now discontinued, the series made a bid to become the regional F3 championship for Europe. Despite losing out to the Formula Regional European Championship, the series decided to switch to a regional F3 car anyway. It will also make use of the new Tatus car, and in line with the championship's name, will pair it with a turbocharged 1.8-litre Renault engine found in the Megane RS. And finally, there is one more championship, 
in Europe starting in 2019 and will also use the Tatus F3 car and Alfa Romeo engine combo, the W series. This racing series is run exclusively for female drivers and will follow the DTM calendar around Europe. That makes it the fourth to use the new Tatus car and the fifth to use the new regional car spec overall. So, are we done yet? In the past, National Formula 3 championships were far more common. Germany, Italy and just about every other country with a history in motor racing had its own Formula 3 championship. In fact, the Euro Formula Open Championship is a successor to the Spanish Formula 3 Championship. While most of these championships are a thing of the past due to rising operational costs and driver budgets, there are still a few of these National Formula 3 Championships that remain today, with two in particular worth mentioning. The British Racing Drivers Club Formula 3 Championship, abbreviated BRDC F3, is one of those. While this championship runs under the Formula 3 name, the series actually uses an upgraded Tatus Formula 4 car, though it does come with some aero tweaks and a more powerful Cosworth engine compared to the car it's based on. Thus, this championship is in a weird spot, as it is clearly a step up from Formula 4, but it's not quite at the level of the other Formula 3 championships we've already talked about. A more simple example of a National Formula 3 championship takes us back to East Asia with the All Japan F3 Championship. This series is one of the longest running championships on the globe, but has mostly stuck to itself, acting more as part of the Japanese specific ladder for motorsport. For 2019, this championship will continue to use the Dallara F317 and multiple engine suppliers. However, both of these series are considering, or at least rumoured to be switching, to a regional spec car come 2020. Will that make them proper regional series, even if they cater to one country? That I can't say. And now we're finally on to the home stretch. While not always Formula 3 series themselves, we also need to acknowledge Winter Series. These are championships run during the European off-season, typically in countries where racing can be done during December to February. These include the Toyota Racing Series held in New Zealand, and the MRF Challenge which is based in India but primarily races in the Middle East. But what of the Macau Grand Prix? Ask me in November. So here's our full lineup: the FIA Formula 3 Championship, the three accredited regional Formula 3 series and the two non-FIA regional series in Europe. We also have the F3 Asian Championship's own winter series and the F3 America's sister championship run on the west coast of the USA but isn't FIA accredited. Next is the two major national championships and the Euro Formula Open series as there's nowhere else to really put it. Finally the winter series and all the very minor championships that aren't worth going over at this time or will be here forever. While the FIA Formula 3 Championship will carry the torch of GP3, the regional and surrounding series will all be competing to come out on top, particularly in Europe. It's possible that a lot of these championships, particularly the non-regional ones, won't exist in a few years' time and will go the way of National Formula 3 Championships. But for 2019, this is how Formula 3 stands. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.